everybody and welcome to third of advent on our youtube channel we are as always your hosts our name carlos and we're here in uh, christmas headquarters where we are <laughs> <laughs> where we are preparing for christmas uh, we're still wearing our uni uniforms we are santa's little elves uh, doing all these different preparations for christmas uh, first of advent was the christmas glitter uh, last week we showed you the weirdest uh, food uh, in Norway, lutefisk, uh, which uh, but very good, which we think is very good. Not everybody likes it, but we love it. Mm -hmm. uh, this week we've got uh, desserts uh, for you, uh, Christmas desserts from Norway, and of course cookies. Uh, you may remember if you've been on our channel for some years, you may remember Arne uh, made some delicious uh, rosettbakelse or tic tac uh, in uh, I think it was in 2016. Yeah. Yep. 2016, Arne made the delicious uh, rosette box. This yeah? time, I'm not doing it. This time, we're not doing that. We're doing something else. Last year, we did a Christmas porridge, yeah. which is also a sweet uh, dish with vanilla and milk, and then we, which you eat with some cinnamon and some sugar. And this year, we are doing a very traditional dessert. But before we start with our dessert, uh, we want to show you uh, some of the cakes and cookies that we have for Christmas. And what's the tradition, Arne? Seven cakes? At, yeah, you seven. need at least seven different cakes. Yes. So, if not, it's not Christmas. Yeah, so, so before, have... before Christmas, while you're doing your preparation, you need to bake minimum seven cookies. And Christmas is not in the house until those cookies are in the box. Uh, we've been very ambitious this year. So we actually went out and we bought... Uh, <laughs> we have eight uh, different kinds of cookies. Um, Sheet, cheating this year. Yeah, I'm a lousy baker. I may be an okay cook, but I am a lousy baker. I'm too creative. I can't stick with a recipe. I will always tweak it, change it. And then, you know, with the oven, uh, you never know with the oven, actually. That's the thing. So <laughs> I've made big disasters in baking. So I'm really good at buying. Um, and... Uh, let me explain, or shall we talk about uh, what we have here? Yeah, Anna? you can explain. Oh, come on, you, you we'll know. do them 50-50. Okay, I know some, like uh, guru. This is guru, this is done with an iron that has uh, the figure. Look, it has this nice pattern. Yes, so this is done with a, a, a special guru iron. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have sandkaker, which are these. This, this my father also called this for the 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 thumbs the thumb cake because it because you press it when you do it you press it with your thumb then we have traditional uh, gingerbread uh, this is made of a paste with uh, ginger and uh, dark syrup and then you make all kinds of funny shapes like snowmen and stars and uh, pigs and boots or or stockings very very typical in all of Scandinavia. And then we have skrull, or some call it strull. Yeah, and, and skrull. We call it skrull. And, and what's the other name? I don't know, but this is basically the same as this, uh, except that this one is rolled into these cones, like an ice cream cone. And different irons. Yeah. And then we have, these are very small, but they're bought in the store. Yes. So that's a um, syrup snip. Yes. What's that in English? I don't know, they're made with syrup. And uh, unlike the gingerbread, this one, this one is really tough. So uh, this one is a little bit softer. Uh, tastes really good. Yeah. The but homemade ones are bigger. Yeah. Then we, we should do a video on that one time. We will do a video yes. on that one time. Then we have Berliner Kranze, which mm -hmm. are just like a butter, a butter cookie with uh, some uh, sugar on top. And this is Burstabel. I don't know what the name is in English. But I think it's you can put them on top of each other and yeah. you put them on the plate, like you put them like Oh yeah, yeah. Like maybe that. it's supposed to be something like this. I don't know. Mm. Maybe. And then of course the compulsory karanse kaka. Yeah. This is made uh, of rings of it's an almond paste and they're baked in rings and then you put the the, the liquid sugar around and then you build a tower. Uh, this is not only for Christmas. No, this is like a party cake. And when you buy them, you get them with these things that you the can Christmas pull. The Christmas crackers. Uh, and of course the flag. And oh. this one won't last forever. No, 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 this, no, no. This is gone tomorrow. This is gone tomorrow, yeah. This... This will last a while. Some of these will be for the birds in January. 
because people don't eat that much cake anymore. And as I was but, saying, the Kranzekake is for Christmas, but if you have a big celebration in your family, like a wedding, a confirmation or something like that, there will also be a Kranzekake. Uh, so it is really, really very important. It is one of the musts of Norwegian, uh, you know, during a big Norwegian celebration. So let's put the cookies back uh, where they were mm -hmm. so that they look a little bit nicer. And let's and do the dessert. Let's do the dessert. Yeah. On, the ta on the plate. <laughs> So we're here now in our dessert station and uh, we will be doing, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Like stations for everything. Yeah, well, yeah, it's yeah. Christmas. We yeah. need to have a very organized <laughs> Christmas workshop space. So anyway, we're here at our, at our dessert station and today we are going to make a very special dessert uh, called Multikram. Uh, and this dessert is something that is actually not the easiest for you to achieve because uh, to do Multikram you need a very special uh, berry uh, called Multe. Uh, the English name of this berry is uh, cloudberry and these are actually some cloudberries that we picked ourselves uh, this summer and we've just gotten them out of the freezer so they're still um, defrosting. Uh, they're called the gold of the forest and they're very expensive. So if someone tell you one in, in the autumn, if someone tell you they saw a bear or a wolf or something in the forest in that direction then you know that's where the cloudberries That's where they are. keep the cloudberries. Because no one will tell where they yeah. find And yeah. every August we go out uh, looking for cloudberries uh, and we freeze them and we use them for our Christmas dessert. So this is not going to be possible to replicate unless you live in an area where there's a lot of Norwegian Americans or if you live in Scandinavia you can. But in other parts of the world uh, you actually need to come here and pick your own cloudberries in the summer and take them with you. Uh, or if you are near a Scandinavian store you may be able to purchase uh, cloudberries. Maybe they are post order. Maybe by post order, <laughs> who knows. Know. <laughs> so, but anyway, it's a very easy dessert. Uh, multe creme means uh, cream of cloudberries. So for this you need about four deciliters of cream that we're going to put, put into our uh, bowl. And it's of course the kind of cream that you can whip into, uh, into something more steady. Uh, then you need some sugar. I uh, want the sugar now. Yeah, but I'm not uh, going to let you do that. Um, sugar, I'm not a very good friend of sugar. so. Um, uh, it's Christmas. I know it's Christmas. The recipe calls for about uh, three tablespoons of uh, sugar. I'm going to put two and then we can try it and see if it's sweet enough. Uh, but I'm only going to put two. So one. Yeah, okay, two. Oh, a little bit more. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So two uh, spoons of sugar. Uh, and what we do now is we whip the cream. Uh, it's a boring thing, you know, you're, gonna, you're not going to watch. And I'm going to do it because yeah. it's so boring. Yeah, Arne is going to whip it and it's not going to be like a video of us whipping cream. Instead of that, why don't we just uh, rewind into, uh, and go back to August. Uh, a lovely day in August when Arne, Carlos and Freya went to pick cloudberries in the forest. Yeah, and we won't tell you where it was. We so. won't tell you where it was. You will, you, you know, we will die before <laughs> somebody gets it out of us. So you won't know where it is. It's an undisclosed it's a, location secret place. in a forest somewhere in Norway. So enjoy the video and we will whip this cream in the meantime. Check this out, cloudberries. It's uh, end of July and our Christmas preparations begin now by picking these berries and freezing them and then having delicious desserts Christmas Eve. Freya is eating them. Oh, no, 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 Freya, don't eat me.
How's it going, Arna? It's going good, look. Let me see. I'm zooming in. Should I go to taste all them? So uh oh. She tried to eat. She better not eat them. They're too valuable. This is our Christmas dessert. <laughs> Freya. 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 Don't eat the berries. Have the blueberries instead. Huh? Okay, I think we've had it. We've got it. So we're not making butter. <laughs> we're definitely not making butter. This is kind of the consistency that you want. You want something that is, uh, yeah, not too thick. So, like a pot. Yeah, or you can use, or you want to lick a pot. Like a pot. Yes, and I know why you want that, because you want to lick the cream afterwards. Of course. Yes, so. That's like what we did when we were kids. Yeah. Now, as I was saying, uh, cloudberries is quite difficult to come by. Uh, and they grow wild here in, uh, they grow wild here in Scandinavia. If you can't find cloudberries uh, in a store, you may actually find uh, cloudberry jam, and that could be a replacement here. You could use cloudberry jam instead of cloudberries. It's not quite the same, but it's pretty close, wouldn't you say, Arne? Yeah. And I have not, yeah, be, before you lick this one, you have to take out the plug. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you don't <laughs> ac accidentally press the bottom while yeah. this is in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. So uh, then there won't be no Christmas or no. Exactly. Not the cream for you. Which is why Sorry. I pulled out the, the, the thing before you. Thank uh, you. Yeah. You can explain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We've <laughs> go go uh, clean that up and I'll keep going here. <laughs> okay, so. Arne has uh, whipped the cream. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and uh, still a bit uh, not too uh, hardly whipped. Uh, and then we've done it with the sugar. And what we do now simply is take our uh, very valuable cloudberries uh, that we picked ourselves. And luckily Freya didn't eat all of them. Um, there was a point there when we were a little bit worried about it. Oops. And... Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a, we don't want that in our dessert. So we just uh, take cloudberries and we just stir it gently in our dessert. How's it going, Arna? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I think you should, uh, you should leave that and come here. This, this dessert is very quick to prepare, very easy. Uh, just have to clean up a little bit. Yeah, you're a great kitchen assistant, by the way. I know, way. thank you. Thank you for helping me. So, just stir this in. Um, okay, I'm back. Okay, so you can do a little bit of the stirring. And I see that we still have a few bits of Chris or of the woods here. There's a leaf there as well. We don't want that in our, in our cream. So, keep going generously. I this is enough for two desserts. You think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I want to be generous. Is that good? What do you think? Is that the consistency we want? I think this is good. Okay, one more spoon. Okay. <laughs> this is probably another strange Norwegian dish. I don't know. And then I think that what we should do, you know, in the end is just throw in a few, but not stirred. They're just going to be on top, just as like decoration. Topping. Yeah, like a little bit of a decor. So just stir that in with a little, the, the juices. Be careful with all that juice. Yeah, 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 but... Okay, I think that looks lovely. A few more, uh, just a few more pieces of fruit. There you go. Whoops. That's what you don't want. Okay. okay, and we have, oh, be careful, because it's supposed to look like that. So here we have a gorgeous Norwegian dessert that you eat together with your Norwegian cookies. And uh, if you are uh, childish, like uh, Arne and me, like what, me. What, you want, what you want to do is you want to grab one of these and you want to fill it with the filling. And then it, it will come straight through. No, because I put my finger down there. <laughs> You're childish. 
Well, I like doing this. This is fun. So you fill this and then you have a delicious Norwegian kind of ice cream I think you need this to one. enjoy. <laughs> Let's try this. Mmm. 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 Okay, so it good. was good. So good. So people, this is our Norwegian traditions for desserts. We hope you have enjoyed this week's episode and a little bit more of traditional Norwegian Christmas celebrations. We are, as always, your Christmas elves uh, preparing <laughs> Christmas. Next week, we have a great uh, one for you. Uh, it's a podcast and it, is, uh, it consists of some stuffing. We'll be stuffing and talking for 45 minutes. And it's not a turkey. And it's not a turkey. No, it's not no. a turkey. It's not a cooking tutorial. <laughs> two cooking tutorials, two weeks in a row, maybe a little bit too much. I don't know. Tell us what you think about us uh, in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> and other than that, uh, all we can say is we hope that you've enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'm sure that everybody wants to know how this tastes. And I think you must have seen it in the expression on my face. It tastes absolutely delicious. So see you again next week. And until then, your Santa elves are logging off. Yeah, and eating Bye. cakes. Let's Bye. go have some cake. <laughs>